Oh baby, oh baby. Look at that, is that not perfection? What's happening everybody? Chris Jones here with the World's Worst Fishing. I'm your host and uh, early morning, sun's just kind of starting to come in, but we are back with another video and this one is super exciting. Um, it's sort of one of those ask and you shall receive. Um, here comes the injection six inch botworm mold, okay? Um, so the botworm was basically released by AI molds. I'm, I'm terrible at this, right there, right? This beauty right here, the six inch AI botworm was released in open pour uh, version um, along with a four and a half inch version, okay? Um, and these are, you know, amazing molds. They have not stopped taking over the bait, the, the, uh, I, I would say taking over the bait community. There are still people pouring the heck out of the botworms and it's one of my best selling baits. Um, whenever I personally get DMs or uh, post baits for sale um, on social media, <laughs> I run through a lot of these. People love this mold, they love this worm. And now there is ah, an injection version. However, much like the shrimp, the injection version was quite difficult to get right. So, like the injection shrimp, Josh was able to find his solution with another flat injection, okay? So we're gonna be playing with this today. I'm super excited. It's eight cavities, so you get real bang per buck. Um, I think the mold is going for 120 or like 124. I, I honestly forget the exact number, but that's in the price range. And there's also going to be a tail mold that we will be playing with. Um, I have not opened this up yet to see what it looks like, but I'm really excited to use it. Um, now, just like the shrimp mold, this will laminate top to bottom. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and uh, move our camera and take a closer look at things. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. So this was sort of like their final beta test mold. Um, so it doesn't have where the top and bottom color is. Um, so we'll just have to kind of figure it out. But look at that. There it is, six inch bot. So if we just compare and contrast real quick, all right, you can see the similarities there. Well, it's not similar, it's the same, it's the same dang thing. Just injection version, nice and shiny. And again, this one's eight cavity versus six. You know, um, what I like about the layout of the open pour is that you have a little bit more space in between cavity, which is a good thing if you're pouring uh, intricate patterns where you're layering plastic across and you need to, need to be able to clean up those edges. If it was this close, I'd, I honestly think you would, um, you would kind of run out of space to, to really work. Um, so this works perfect in an open pour. However, with injection, he was, uh, as you can see, he's putting those cavities in there close. You're getting a lot of value here. For your money a lot of worm um, so i am really excited for that uh, because i absolutely love this worm i'm going to sell just as many out of the injection mold as i do the open pour maybe even more yeah, okay yeah look at that the tail bot that is cool yep okay so what is that is that 16 1 2 3 4 20 20 cavities okay all right, yeah, so 20 bot tails. Yeah. Okay. We will definitely have some fun with that. I need to think up some colors. I already know what solid single color I'm going to start with. I have no idea what my laminate color is going to be or what my tail, <laughs> tail color is going to be. But there it is right there. She is looking fresh and ready for action. All right, so I've been asked to uh, use this color on film. It's a golden oldie. I haven't used a whole lot of it. Um, in fact, just got this bottle uh, for the first time. Um, I've had this pigment before, um, but just not this particular bottle. So anyway, yeah, here's some good old chameleon. And I don't really have a drop count. We're just going to put it in there. <laughs> That's a uh, one measuring cup of plastic. That is dead on plastics, of course, in the uh, swim bait, jerk bait blend, which I find perfect for the six inch bot worm. 
You can go worm blend. I just don't usually use something quite that soft. Yeah. So as you can see, it's it's kind of brown and um, purple all at once, and that's sort of what makes the color fun. Um, it's sort of like the blue craw or the kiwis. You've kind of got two different um, two different things going on. Um, we're gonna spike it with a drop of black, maybe two drops of black actually. All right. And then you can always bring out the purple a little bit more by, you know, maybe adding like a drop of black grape. You can add a drop of just whatever your favorite purple is. You can add a drop of blue. You know, you can really play with the base um, really as much as you want. But uh, I, think, I think just for the first shot, we're just going to do straight chameleon. And um, then we might, um, we might play with some other things uh, as well. All right, here we go. Let's get that first run with it. I am uh, excited for this. Oh, feels good. That feels good. Eight worms in three seconds. Well, gotta love that. Gotta love that. Yeah. Okie doke. And that did really not eat that much plastic, so we started with a full cup and now we're down to about three quarters of a cup. Now some of that is, you know, eaten up by the runner and the sprue. You now there's a plug in here in the injector, but for the most part, um, this seems to be uh, quite an efficient mold. Meaning that I think you can get a ton of these just out of one cup of plastic. New mold, first go, new color on the channel, drum roll please. Right. Let's see how we did. My guess is we're gonna get eight chameleon worms. What do y'all think is about to happen? Maybe we open this up and they're green somehow. But I'm gonna stick stick to my uh, spidey sense here and say that they're gonna look just like we think they're gonna look. Look at that. Yeah. Pretty cool. How about that? Let's get them out. Here, let's zoom in just a smidge. You can see how it's like brown up here, but then purple. So that's sort of the uh, that's sort of the whole thing here. All right? is you get sort of two effects, right? Purple, brown, you know, it's basically blue craw, but purple craw. That's what they should call it, purple craw. So yeah, there it is. And uh, what immediately strikes me is that every worm shot completely flawless. There's no dents, no uh, little trapped air bubbles in the tails or in the nose. You know, trapping air in the nose of a bait is, I think, what makes a lot of injection molds tricky to make. You know, you get everything to fill in, but there's always some air trapped, you know, around the gates. And um, I see a flawless run of worms right there. That is, by every account, a perfect shot. Cannot get better. Yeah, there it is. Is that just not sexy? I mean, like, are we allowed to say that? This is a kid family program, but that has sex appeal if you love soft baits. Okay, so we have the ones that we just did there in just sort of the straight uh, effect. And uh, it just so happened that also this week, along with getting this mold for this video, um, Travis sent me a couple of things that, um, that he's about to release with Randy. Um, so we have a, a new uh, dead shift blurple and then we have a really kind of brilliant uh black grape hologram um glitter as well so i guess what we'll do is um new mold and some new uh glitters and pigments we'll uh kind of try it all together real quick and uh, see how it looks in the, in the bot mold so i've already used blurple once um i just kind of like made some lizards with it and uh, and it was really cool so we'll just use it as sort of like a little secondary effect 
I'm not just going to load it up and make it all about the flake, or excuse me, all about the uh, shift. But this should add sort of a fun little extra bit of sparkle. Yeah, you can kind of, well, gosh, I just lost all my lighting in here. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of see, yeah, yeah, look at that. You can kind of see the, the powder in there now. Some of the blurp will shift. Yeah, pretty. Let me see if I can get that to, to focus on the plastic. It's focusing on the edge of the cup. Well, anyway, we'll get there. And then we'll throw some of this new flake in there. This might look pretty cool. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. Lots of purple today already, huh? <laughs> purple effect. Purple shift, purple flake, let's go. Okay, let's see how our uh, blurple chameleon um, deep purple, well not deep purple, deep purple's a band. Yeah, let's see how our uh, our blurple purple chameleon botworms came out. Okay, looking good. I think I had a slight hiccup there. But, let's see how the color did as a whole. Now that we've kind of added to it, yeah yep see how you can kind of see the shift the powdery effect and uh and the the hologram from the flake and it still maintains the kind of brown to purple um uh, chameleon effect there yeah not bad it, it kind of makes it look a little bit more dark um, which kind of makes sense like it's now it's now maybe a little bit more black grape just overall I think the hue is darker yeah there we go rocking the solid colors uh, rocking the, the 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 solid purples today all right now let's try a laminate a simple black and blue laminate we're gonna keep it oh god that was way too much whoops we're going to keep it simple stupid. Try to get some of that pigment out of there. <laughs> that was too much. It all kind of came out too fast on me. This is, this is, this should be a blooper reel. You know, in the olden days, I'd have started over, edited that out. You know, nobody's going to see me mess up. Yeah. Now I don't care because it's all part of it. So we're gonna try to dip out a little bit more. All right, now we're just gonna kinda go from there. Sorry about the laundry, yeah, it's still too thick. Okay, we're gonna have to start over, whoops. Okay, good heavens, we're gonna try this again. Black and blue. Just try not to overdo the blue. Okay. Posted up a funny picture of that mess just now on uh, one of the bait pages and on Instagram, so y'all can go laugh at my mistakes. All right, here we go. That's looking much better. Okay, the black's still a little bit too uh, thick there. Uh oh, got that one drop. Need to get that down in there. All right. Now we're just going to kind of drizzle test them a little bit and just see if they are playing nice together. Yes. Okay, here we go. Um, I believe top side is on the right side. So that's what we're going to go with. And hope that we are correct. Okay. Slow and steady. Temperatures are very low. We're in that 320 or below temperature range on our uh, plastic here. All right. Yeah. Okay, so there they are. I actually got really great laminates. I mean, oops, hold on, let me try to focus. 
right? I mean, look how well that laminated, top to bottom, perfect. But my colors are just too dark overall. There's, there's just not enough, um, yeah. To, to, to me, it's just too dark to really see it. Um, I'm, I'm extremely happy with how the mold did. The mold laminated like a beast. I mean, look at that. However, I still need to redo this color again. I really want my black and blue laminate to work out the way that I want. So this is why people write down recipes. So that you're not uh, struggling to do the most basic color like I am today. I can make all my fancy swim baits, no recipes. Nah, no, but I can't saturate black and blue. Write down recipes, folks. Don't be a dork like me. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully we've got our colors dialed back enough to where we'll get more, uh, well, a better result. Okay, just about knock the knife over. Okay. All right. Okay. There it is. See how you just see the two colors better? The black isn't just completely shadowing out the blue so much that it's just gone. You know, if, if you roll the tape back to the last shot there, you just, you didn't really see the blue coming out. Now, um, they're saturated in a way that you can see the blue oops coming through the tips of those tails So let's go ahead and just get one off Yeah, that is much better look that's Finally took me enough tries, right? There it is That is what I'm talking about light refraction You still get a good defined laminate and there's enough contrast to see it but, but there's not, um, the colors aren't so dark that you're not really able to see the effect. That's always the trick when doing laminates, whether it's this mold or any other mold. It's getting even temperatures and getting your saturations to play nicely. And there's a side-by-side. -side. So there's the ones that we did earlier. You can see very dark. You don't really see the effect as much. Right, you kind of have to really hold it up to the light to even tell that it's a laminate um, because everything is so dark, it kind of makes it more purple. As you can see here, we just have a much better, brighter um, black and blue laminate where you really see the colors working well together, but you can see them by themselves as you should. So, to me, that's night and day. Yeah, yep, those are some god tier worms. I'm loving it. Yep, I could just do laminates the rest of the day. However, here comes the tail mold. All right, let's take a look at the tail mold. All right. Yeah, well, got our tails. Yeah. Okay. Yep, some black tails, and we're going to pair that up with a really exciting hypershift color, which I think will work pretty cool. All right, we'll take a look at this part. Okay, yeah, so, sorry, I had to look at what I was doing. There's that little kind of ball bearing, right? And uh, I'm not sure if there's, okay, yeah, technically there is a bottom. Um, so let's see that looks like the top so we're gonna do it no wait 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 wait. the top would go the other way yeah okay so bottom needs to face up bottom needs to face up because the top of the mold is technically the inverse okay it'll honestly probably work both ways that one actually had a small dent i shot these too fast always tend to shoot tail molds too fast thinking that because they have such thin runners you know that the plastic is gonna not fill and then I, uh, I get dents. <laughs> I probably shoot tail molds worse than any other type of mold. Okay 
yeah so we're gonna do them that way and I think that'll look uh, I think that'll look good yeah okay yeah those are nice and in line as you can see they're not sticking up which is what we want sorry it's not focusing there it goes okay so for the body plastic we're gonna use this look at the shift on that it's gold it's brown it's green all in one um, yeah I've never used this on the channel I've always used uh, ZTF I believe but here comes ZTO coming at you yep that should be plenty and uh, I always like to add a little bit of black base. It just kind of helps bring out the shift a little bit. So, now this plastic has not been vacuumed yet, so we're gonna definitely stir a little bit of bubble trouble in there. But uh, you, you have to mix these powders a lot or else they, uh, they will start to clump up on you. Yeah, wow, look at that. I like how there's a hint of green that's really cool it kind of reminds me of sort of a uh, pearlized motor oil in fact we could even add some motor oil to it <laughs> why not I had my motor oil out so hey we'll uh, see what happens that actually gave it a little bit more of a green hint which uh, I'm actually kind of digging all right here we go Let's hit it up. Oh yeah. Feels good. Gonna hold some pressure. Yeah. All right. Look at that color. That's the, that's the coolest angle right there. Let's see how they did. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of losing a lot of my lighting yeah I don't know if you can hear the thunder but we got a storm rolling in yeah there it is sorry about the laundry noise we are running out of good filming conditions both uh, storm wise and laundry wise let's just uh, let's just grab one out real quick and we'll try to showcase one by itself yeah look at that somebody needs to tell the neighbor to quit making all this racket making all this dang racket trying to clean up his yard while we're trying to film all right the storm is a coming and I'm okay so that means it's gonna cool things down a little bit out here and uh, I get to go inside and take a breather um, so anyway yeah hope y'all enjoyed the video had a lot of fun um, particularly enjoyed doing the laminates and just seeing it work with the uh, flat injection um, style of uh, orientation much like the shrimp mold it's just still fascinating to see that actually work and it works incredible I uh, you know didn't mix the color up perfect the first two times but hey we eventually got it and that's what counts um, yeah so let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite did you like the um, Excuse me, did, did you like the chameleon? Did you like the black and blue laminate? Or did you like the black tip hypershift worms the best? Um, and then also, uh, it's a little late notice, um, but anyone still watching the end of this video who is in Florida like me, next weekend, July 29th, I will be hosting a live in-person bait making seminar in Clearwater, Florida through the Rack Fishing Association. I'll include a link to the event down below if you want to come hang out the events free you just got to get over to Clearwater next Saturday on the 29th and uh, come hang out um, so with that said we're gonna sign off we're finally getting some of that that cold wind blowing in and uh, yeah I'm ready to go inside new injection bot worm mold you ask you receive the guys at AI have uh, a lot more exciting things in development in the works Josh and I had a phone call a couple of days ago and he was just saying, here's what's coming, here's what's after that, here's what's after that. 
he's planning a lot of things uh, really far out. So stay tuned.